Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to make a crafts and yeah, let's make a craft. And it's going to be something like this. I made this one and they are so easy to make and the other one is this one it's made out of fabric and they are very easy to make so let's dive in and let's make this pumpkin all right here we go here we go here we go Okay, so what you're going to need is you need to have a blouse that you don't use, okay? I got mine at the Goodwill. And first is what you're going to need is you need to make your blouse turn inside out. And it should be like this one or out, you know. And I like to use some you can also use this, the arm side, but I'm not going to use that. I use the bottom one, and then I do it like this. And if you have a rubber band, like what I have is, you know, those black rubber band for the hair. And you kind of like want to tie it down, just like so. And it doesn't need to be perfect. And you can also use a yarn. I like to use the yarn as well because it will help it, you know, in times when you don't, when you store it somewhere and in time and in time, your thing might be fall apart from the rubber band. So kind of like more better to secure it as well with a kind of fabric. So right now I'm using the yarn and twist it around just like that and tie it and secure it real good. And that's what I just did. And then you cut them off with this one with the scissors. And next thing is you turn it inside out inside something you turn it around like that like so okay so it should form as like how look how pretty that one at the bottom is so it will create something pretty something pretty okay and then what you're gonna need now it's already in the right spot see how this one is inside now what you're gonna need is you kind of like want to trim your stuff like from the armpit something it doesn't need to be perfect and just cut them off like so like that and keep on cutting and just keep on going cut them off until you finish it doesn't need to be perfect actually like what i did right now is i'm just prepping up this kind of fabric because actually i still have to cut them and i'll show you why do i have to cut them and I kind of like want to remove this one because that arms are just on the way. So what I did is now you have a spot. You can also cut this if you want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, so you can arrange it however you want. And my stuffing is this shredded paper. You can also use a you know the pillow that you don't use anymore but i'm using a shredded paper because we're using recycle at the moment so 
shredded paper and all the way and you see how I kind of want to arrange them as well like the fabric is in the middle because you don't want to make it bulky you want it to be even like the fabric is in the middle see just like so like that and all you gotta do is just look on what size do you like if this is perfect for you or you want more stuffing in it okay I think I need more just in the middle okay just like so and put some more and now it should look like that like there is a paper inside and then I just hold it on together close it down and just tie it like a sack like tight as you can like how tight you want it it feels like I want it for more because it's kind of like okay I'm going to add some more all right now I just added more and I am trying to close this now and I want to close this now because I think I got the one that I desired the size and everything so you just have to make it tighter okay like it doesn't need to be perfect actually so that's your pumpkin right there you kind of like you want to arrange your fabric stuff and does it need to be perfect because they are pumpkin all right and there you go and I use the rubber band again to tie the top to secure it I it breaks see that's what I said guys you have to secure it as well with a yarn or something that you have if you have a um, what's that called if you have a yarn or twine or something like that you need to secure it because in time they will give up it's like expiration <laughs> it's kind of tricky but it'll be worth it see I like this one how tall that is I like this how it goes like that and poofy see just like so and you can also arrange it like you want something nothing in there and make it a little bit something like so and just like that and then you push it downward so then it creates the paper is going to have a little space for it and then you tie another more rubber band until you reach your desired stem that you like and what I did is also I secure it with a yarn because like what we said earlier the yarn will or the rubber band will eventually give up somehow and you want to secure that because you, you might want to because you may want to give it to someone or you want to save it for the next year or something you know it's kind of like you just have to secure it just like so and you just secure it and you tie them again you tie them with this yarn that you have and you can use really or you can use a anything that you like any fabric that you want to tie it on or a thread but I kind of like want to have the yarn because 
I just want the yarn. And it's the one that I have right now. So we're just going to use this. And ta-da! And kind of like cut the excess of it. Alright. So now I just cleaned this space. So now it's all clean. And there is no more shredded paper around it. And this is kind of like what you want at the bottom. See, it's kind of like looking real pumpkin looking something. You know what I mean. And... <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like you have to smush it down so then to see when you smush it it's it creates more like a real looking pumpkin okay so that's how it goes so what you're gonna need a pearl string as well so I have this green um, this is the one that I used earlier from that area I got this at Goodwill so I usually go to Goodwill you guys if I need some crafts because some are like super brand new items it's not even open and I have these and these and the whole thing at Goodwill for two bucks so try to go to Goodwill sometimes if you want to save because me I want to save <laughs> now next is you turn it downward like that and of course you need a glue gun okay i'm sorry about my glue gun it's kind of well loved and well used so i love my glue gun it's my low temp but yeah we'll use that okay so now our glue gun is preheated so we kind of want the bottom of the pumpkin is going to be like this and what I do is I try to, with my pearl strings, I try to tuck in my pearl strings somehow just like that, like you hide them underneath. Or you can do it like that, but yeah, let's do it like that. But then I just don't like it because it comes off and I don't want the glue gun to show. So I try to open this space down here and put a smidge of glue and then tuck it in and I try to make a little dent as well to this pumpkin so it looks like it is doing some magic and I cut them like so and I Put them right here on the but closer to the stem of the pumpkin and I try to do it like that like pinch it a little so the fabric is holding it as well and let's do it again to the opposite side and turn it around like the opposite side like a crossway so I'm going to use this right there and like so and tuck them in and try to arrange them like how those pumpkin supposed to look like they have a indention and cut them like so and then put a blob of glue again and secure it be careful because it is hot you guys this is hot okay so i'm kind of like used to it already so i'm kind of like and so i'm kind of like used to the heat of the glue gun <laughs> so it doesn't bother me anymore and kind of like pinch it a little and then just follow the groove of this pumpkin i hope i can make a groove of this pumpkin just like so there you go and then just pinch it again the same way go to the other side 
and same routine and I'm going to make this video faster you guys so you're not bored watching me okay <laughs> So now it is done and I think I reached the point where I like that and now what I do is you gotta have at least a burlap. I got this one at the dollar store so go to the dollar store if you want some of these. They are a dollar so it's worth it. So what I did is I kind of like pinch it down as I said and put the glue on this edge right here and I'm going to use this color of a burlap and I kind of like push it down just like so and I'm going to put a glue in here and make sure it's way tight so be very very careful guys because this is hot I promise. It is way hot. I'm kind of like, I am used to the glue gun already. Not, not as used to it, but I take that word. It's just, I use glue gun all the time. So I'm kind of like used to the glue gun. So don't try how I do it because it could burn you. And just be very, very careful, just like so. And try to work on it. And then glue another more to the second layer because you are going to make it twirl or turn or wrap it. And you kind of want to wrap it like so like way tight so we can form a stem and just secure it with a glue gun just like so with a glue I mean and twirl it and super tight as you can so then see see how I get by a glue gun and then tight super tight okay and then you kind of like want to create the end of it as a something twirlies and I kind of keep on going and I keep on going just like so, so you can create something like this. And keep on going, just keep on going where you can reach the point. I like this burlap with wire because it's so easy to work on. So if you can get that at your Dollar Tree store that would be very very awesome and then if you reach the point where you kind of like want to stop of course you can stop now if you want to just like so and what I did is I secure it with the glue again and I kind of like want to work on it for more and just like so be careful with the wire it could poke you Okay, so I kind of reached the point where this is the one that I want. 
and so there you go I got the twirly twirly stem of a pumpkin so that's what I did and they're kind of like super pretty now they look perfect just as this but I, I want to add something on the side of the stem you know so what I have here is I have this at Ross and it is six dollars something and it makes your house smell so good so I grab this So now I'm going to put a glue on it and I kind of press it down something like so. Okay, so now we're going to start to put some glue in this area and be careful you guys. This glue are way hot. Okay, and here we go. Just like so. And... I kind of like secure it with glue a lot, you guys, because I want everything secured. And I promise, guys, your house is going to smell so good. promise guys your room is going to smell so awesome smell so good already in here so here is our finished pumpkin that we just made and they look so pretty There you go. As you can see, they look so good. All right. And there you go. You got a nice pumpkin. So that was it. I made this one. This is our finished product that we made. And they smell so good, you guys. Oh, that smells so good. And look, aren't they pretty or what? They are just beautiful. And look. So they look so pretty. And see that, guys? You can make a recycle stuff to make something like this. And you don't have to spend so much. And if you have something like this already, you can add some cool stuff that you want. And this one's are roses with flowers. And I really like this one too. So this could be an awesome present for friends and family. And they are just beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, and they smell so good. They smell so good. And the stuff that I use should be down at the description down below if you want to get it. And yes, happy Halloween, happy Thanksgiving, and you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching Shasha SJ. Come back next time for another tutorials. I'm going to make another more crafts that are cheap. <laughs> cheap crafts or recycled crafts. So come back next time you guys are awesome thank you for watching shasha sj again you guys are awesome remember that you are awesome thank you Mwah. Bye.